win-win situation for both. And that's why in the process, so many people who actually sacrifice their lives and everything by leading the armed struggle, their names till today will be dubbed as revolutionary terrorists and not as freedom fighters. Um, like Sardar Uddam Singh. Yes. Have you seen the movie? Of course. My God, what a movie, dude. Yeah. yeah. And like, how many of us knew about him? <laughs> yeah. I don't even think too many people watch the film. It was a fantastic yeah. film. It's Vicky Kaushal's best film. Shujit yes. Sarkar's best film. Um, I met Shujit Sarkar, the director of the film. I said that, dude, thank you for making that. That's how history should be shown in its darkest, truest mm. form. And he said, thank you. He was grateful. But there was a part of him which definitely, at least that's what I sensed and that's what I felt. I think somewhere he wanted more people to watch it. Mm. You know, and I highly recommend that dark, kind of sad film to every viewer watching this. You'll get a real emotional viewpoint on the Indian freedom struggle yeah. from the people who actually used or had to use violence as a mean to... Yeah. Um, help the Indian freedom struggle. Right. I had never heard of Sardar Uddham Singh till that movie came out. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Sure, you're not alone. <laughs> there are millions like you who didn't know about him. And, and how many people have we not heard of? Like him? Thousands of them, Ranveer, I think. Uh, in the course of my own research on Veer Savarkar, the kind of names that came along, uh, right from Vasudev Balwan Farke, who was called the father of Indian revolutionaries, and Maharashtra produced so many of them, the Chafikar brothers, uh, Veer Savarkar, his elder brother, Baba Rao Savarkar, uh, Bengal had all, I mean, Aurobindo Ghosh, Barin Ghosh, uh, Prafulla Chaki, um, Kanhel Aldat, all of them around the same time. And when Savarkar goes to London, the, the kind of people whom he associates with there, Shamji Krishna Varma, Madam Bhikaji Kama, in Mumbai or in Delhi, you have a Bhikaji Kama road or a Bhikaji Kama place. But those who are there also don't know who the hell this Bhikaji Kama is. Is it a man, woman? Kya hai? Kisi ko pata nahi, most of often. But she was someone who went and unfurled the first flag of Indian independence in 1907 in the International Socialist Conference in Stuttgart in Germany. And the, uh, the flag itself was designed by Savarkar and Hemchandra Das Kanungo of the Anushilan Samiti. So people like this whom we have zero clue of, MPT Acharya, BBS Ayer, Suksagar Dutt, uh, you know, lots of them uh, like that. Um, uh, Senapati Bapat, there was Senapati Bapat Road in Pune. Uh, but then how many even in Pune know the details of who this man is? Sachin Rath Sanyal, uh, of course, uh, Ram Prasad, Bismillah, Shpakullah Khan, and uh, then you know of the Kakori case. Uh, then Bhagat Singh Sukhdev, Rajguru, uh, Rash Bihari Bose, who formed the Indian National Army and later invited Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, as I said, the culmination of this long train, the Gadar movement itself, in which started with Punjab and uh, the Sikhs uh, there who joined then the, with this, and then it goes across continents to, through Europe to Germany, then from there to, uh, you know, uh, California, San Francisco, and then um, uh, even Canada. And, uh, you know, the, the, the long train where they were trying to ally with Germany to ensure Germany invades British India and liberates uh, India. Of course, whether we would have become a German colony, that's another question. But, uh, you know, a lot of these uh, heroes uh, who operated across countries and so on at a time when there was no communication channels of WhatsApp and all of that like we have today, but still the jazba of uh, wanting to liberate your country. Just mind you, I mean, Purna Swaraj was something that the Congress coined in 1930, right, with the declaration for Purna Swaraj. But the revolutionaries, including Savarkar, when he did his first uh, student bonfire of foreign clothes in 1905, gave the call for complete liberation. The revolutionaries were not asking for piecemeal negotiations like the Congress was, that, you know, give us a little bit here and there, dominion status. All. They wanted complete freedom for the country as way back as 1905, which I think uh, says a lot about what the objectives of the two groups were as they were working. What did you think of the movie? Oh, it was an excellent movie. I think it really left me deeply moved. And I agree with you, it's probably Vicky Koshal's best and Shujit's best as well. Uh, I wish more of these movies get done on many of, there's so much drama, there's so much, all that Bollywood wants, I think is there in the stories of all these people. You know, they've shown the Jalyanwala Bagh massacre as it should be shown. Yes. Which yeah. is deeply violent, deeply yeah. heartless. Yeah. Um, we've read about it in our books, but the way they've visually shown it yeah. in that movie, it moves everyone. It'll stay with you forever. Correct. They've, they've shown people's hands being blown off, yeah. your kids yeah. dying. Yeah. Just, it's, it really makes you think about the truth. Yeah. That Sometimes words are not able to capture as well as visuals. True, very true, very true. Which is why we probably need a lot more movies about people like Veer Savarkar, yeah. Bhagat Singh. Yeah. You know, everyone's seen the Ajay Devgan Bhagat Singh movie and that's my reference point as well. Uh, I remember in 1996 or 97, there was a Veer Savarkar movie also, which my mum took me for. And it's one of my earliest memories in life. Uh, it's, I think it's about Anu Kapoor, if I'm not mistaken. He plays Veer Savarkar. It's a Malayalam film that's dubbed in Hindi. Okay. And I highly recommend people watch it mm. because they've shown a very um, raw image of him. Uh, they've shown him in Kalapani, which was mm. the jail in uh, The oh, Adamants. Yeah. Uh, they used to make the prisoners do a uh, oil extraction. Oh, look at punishment. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'd love for you to expand on it as well. Mm. But it's basically like a sort of a torture technique where they make you extract oil from seeds. Yeah. Uh, and then when he doesn't... Hey,